A warm welcome everyone to this evening. We have a new streamer for you on ECC. Today we have a champion conference one match. Team 5 on 7 will play against Stabek Momentum. But I won't cast it alone, of course. I'm, I'm uh, joined by the almighty Nico. Welcome, Nico. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. I cast another series earlier today. That was um, Te Gadan's Tempest versus. Uh, Push, pushing esports uh, also, so I'm happy to, to cast another series here. And this yeah. time on an official stream. Yeah, it's a Champions Conference 1 match. Really excited for this match. So um, let's take a look at the teams who are going to play today. It's a team 5 on 7 against Tabic Momentum, as I already said. And yeah. if we look at the at the first week, how they played, team 5 on 7 played against Crimson Hawks and they had a com comfortable sweep over them. And if you haven't watched uh, the stream of last week, Stabic Momentum to, um, had to play against Cypher Orange and they lost in the game 5 against Cypher Orange. Pretty interesting there because we pretty much expected Stabic Momentum would have won that game. But in the end it was Cypher Orange taking Stabic Momentum in the game 5 there. So uh, Stabbing Momentum, they don't have really the best start of this season. And Team 5 on 7, they were really trying to make the start of this season a really good one with two wins. But Stabbing Momentum, they really need the first win in, on, in this season still, as they are now zero wins and one lose. So um, I think it's time to go to the predictions, Nico. So who, do, who are you backing um, okay. in this, in this, uh, in this match? Okay, okay, let us now. Okay, so I am the coach of Stabbing Momentum. Uh, I was there when they got the, and they lost in that game five. It was heartbreaking because we really went into that thinking it was going to be an easy 3-0 sweep. It clearly, it was not. So we underestimated them a, a lot, and we kind of said that okay, this next week we're going to go in there with a bit more composure and like try to really like get the team play going and like. We wasn't really feeling ourselves last week, so uh, like they really want to get out here and actually do really well. But with that being said, <laughs> Team Five One Seven is a really good team. So I'm I'm kind of torn here. I think it's going to be every game is going to be close. I think maybe the first one will be kind of one sided. Depends on who comes out first. It's like swing it first, but. I think it's going to be close games, but I think it's going to be a 3-2 to 5-1-7, I think, in a game 5. I think All that... 5-1-7 right. is your choice then. All right. Um, I think I would go as well to 5-1-7. I think they are just a bit better than Stabbing Momentum. Of course, Stabbing Momentum, they don't really have... Um, they don't really have uh, a good start of the season at 5-1-7. They do have a good start of the season. Um, I think 5 on 7 this is a bit better than Stabbing Momentum, even though I don't really know the players of 5 on 7, but they had a really good result uh, last week. So I think 5 on 7 gaming is uh, taking this series with 3-1, uh, I would say. Okay. So with that being said, I think it's time to just go into this match. All players have joined, so um, I hope uh, this series is going to be a real good one. Uh, let's go to uh, the very first game of this series between 5 on 7 and Stabbing Momentum. Yeah, and here we have APS versus Faded on the kickoff here. And let's see, very neutral kickoff. Bertie is up for this. He just gets a little pop there. Like, and Penny will challenge. Astrid's attempted a shot. And Caps will get a, kind of a clear, but he gets bumped so he couldn't follow it. And Faded with a bit of a miss there. Astrid over to <clears throat> with a shot and. Here, APS with a light touch, Capsule easily saved that one away, and now Painy with the long clear, faded, locks it down in the corner, and Painy up above the crossbar, couldn't find that one, but Capsule send it to the corner now, APS taking his time in the corner, trying to 50 his way out of his half, but he is shot down by Caps and trying to pass that one to Painy, but it's a bit awkward for him now. Above the net, Penny tried to put a drop down, but couldn't really get enough. Good flick by APS, but Fader will be back for that one. Now, Bretzi trying to close the distance, but Fader will get a nice 50 all the way down into the other half. And APS trying to work with Astrid to get this one a nice double tap off the sidewall there. 
caps, takes a slow touch through one. Faded will follow. That might sink in, and it will sink in from Faded with the long shot. Faded with the very first goal of this series. I don't really know what happened. There's a good pass there, and Faded is just going for that. No defender from Team 5 on 7 Gaming in the goal, and it's the first goal. Stabbing momentum is leading now. This is one minute played. Yep. And here. Caps versus Astrid on the kickoff. It goes very neutral again, and Birdsey just launches that one into the Stabek corner. Fede tries for a little bit of a long clear, but Astrid shuts it down. But it's now Payne all the way into the corner of 517. It's a bit awkward for APS here. Caps with the 50, but Astrid gets it. A good corner uh, sidewall read there, excuse me. But shut down. And now free shot, and Birdsey will convert that one. Yeah, a very good pass there. Like, Payne is just getting it into the corner, gets demoed. Astro is a good pass to the middle. And there's no defender. Capsi is not on the goal there. He was third, it looked like. And Fade is not on the goal either. It's all equalized there, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, and with a minute and a half played, it's all tied up again. Bercy now on the dribble. Caps will shut him down, though. Now, Astro with the shot. It's a bit over. Now, Payne with a clear all the way into the blue half. But Bertie, it's a bit of an awkward jump there, so he couldn't really follow his area there, but good pass from Payne to Caps. And Astrid misses his touch off the back, where Payne just takes it slow, but he drags out two defenders, but it's saved in the end. And now Caps will hit this one to the corner. APS and Percy both go off for that, so a bit of a double commit, but I think it's fine for them since they got it all the way to the orange corner. And now Faded with another long shot, but it's shut down this time. And now... Caps doesn't get the first challenge, but it's fine because Payne is back. But Bertie will be there. A good pass from Faded, but Payne wasn't quite right for that one. And now Bertie trying to take his time, gets it past Payne. And a good pop above Caps, but Faded will close the distance immediately. And with two minutes remaining, Dennis here, what do you think of this match so far? Yeah, it's a pretty even match, I would say. Like. In the beginning, it was five on seven gaming struggling, but now it's uh, it, it was after after that stabbing momentum struggling a bit, but um, it's, it's it's just a pretty close game until now. Two minutes still remaining, and um, it's a really good match to be fair. Much offense, not a boring game, and uh, I expect a lot from this series still. Yeah, and as we see, Fede King a really good save there on the goal line. He was the last man, and now a shot from Fede off the corner of the goal, but. Just couldn't fi quite find the net there. And now Caps is up and he gets the goal for the back momentum. Yeah, a very quick offense there. Caps is just really quick on the after the pass of Payne. A backboard miss from Bertsy. And Caps is just taking it into the net of 5 on 7 gaming. And stepping momentum, do you have the lead here? Yeah, a bit of an unexpected one, uh, maybe in this game one. But they have, it's been a very. Um, even match so far and as faded 50 is two people but it will go down to Bertie now double tapping off the crossbar not quite getting that one in but as we see APS trying to close the distance to the goal but he cannot get it and now Payne with a bit of a miss on his doink there I think and now see faded trying to push this one to caps but he's not there and now Bertie to Astrid but Payne will shut it down APS to Astrid gets it past Faded, but Caps will close the distance and gets it above Payne. Caps with a slow touch in the corner, gets it 50 past one. Now Faded with some time here, but he just sends it down. Astrid will close the distance. Hey. Oh, that, was, that is stealing towards the net. A bit of a double commit on this, the big momentum end, but they still keep it in the corner now. Payne with a Good 50, dribbles it out of his half, but he is shut down though. Now faded. Over to Payne with the redirect there. Yeah, Payne with a very good redirect after the pass. Or faded, right side of the field. This just goes straight to Payne, a really good redirect. No one in the goal for 5 on 7 gaming. And Sam Momentum is leading with two goals here. 20, 27, select, 27 seconds left in this game still. But it's a very good lead there for stepping Momentum because. Yes, the big momentum has fallen very well, but Bertie will just put one more in, making it a little bit more interesting here. With 20 seconds left, we still have a one-goal game. 
Yeah, and that's exactly what 517 Gaming needed here in this game. Bootsy is just making the second goal for 517 Gaming. And uh, the gap is still, or again, just one goal. Stabbing Momentum has to defend their lead right now. Yeah, it would be heartbreaking for Stabek if they lost this game one. Like, they pretty much had it secured, but like, still 10 seconds left on the clock now. Fede in the blue corner is sailing above the net. Bursi misses his touch, but APS will also miss his touch. And now that's two people from Fire 17 that misses their touch, and APS can't keep it up. He drops it to the floor, and it is Stabek momentum with the series point, uh, not series point, match point. Yeah, it's a stabbing momentum with a really good performance here. Like you said, it's a really close series, really exciting series. Bertie had two goals for his team. Many shots as well for 517 Gaming. But unfortunately for uh, Stabek uh, or for, for 517 Gaming, they couldn't convert their chances into goals. Uh, still eight shots from Astrian apps, um, which are not converted into, into goals. And just stabbing momentum are a bit more clinical with their chances. And... That's what they're really do, doing good right now. 5 on 7 gaming. I think they can come back in this series. They are playing not bad, but uh, Stabbing Momentum, they have good defense. As you, as you can see, 8 saves against 2 saves of 5 on 7 gaming. The defense of Stabbing Momentum was really strong. And um, I'm expecting a lot from these teams still. It's one of for Stabbing Momentum in this series. And they're really interesting to see how this uh, series will turn out, Nico. Yeah, and as you said, like you have 8 first shots from the... From APS and from Astrid that isn't converted but those eight shots were eight saves on this the back side so it's not like they didn't hit it on target like it's not like they don't try to put it in it's just that the back has saved them wouldn't you say yeah I would say that it's uh it, it, it's just a really good save from Stable Momentum like in game one um but yeah we That's a good shot offense Ooh. Astrid with an early goal, nine seconds in only in game two, and five on seven gaming instantly have their response from game one. They take the shot, first shot of the game, and it instantly goes in. Five on seven gaming is leading in this game of only nine seconds played. Yeah, and I, th I think it was Caps who was just coming off the his own like goal, top top of his goal, trying to get the squishy save, but he just like couldn't get his car like in the right place to get it, and it was just awkward because there was. The only one player left back and I was faded from the back and just when the quick shot comes in like that you can't react to it so just unfortunate start for the back but still all game left to play and now Penny is up for that but I don't think he anticipated the miss on the 517 side and now I think Caps will leave this one for Penny but Penny won't hit it and now Astri off for this but Caps will close him down and APS into the corner. Bertie is there, but shut down by Penny. Caps trying to pinch this one out, but APS is. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, APS, sorry. Horse right on it. It's because for, uh, because Astrid and APS is using the same design. I was getting confused. The good shot from APS will not go in, though. Penny pops it up, up above his own net. Faded cannot beat Astrid to it, and Bertie. Get just beat by Penny with crucial challenge for the back side, but it's open net and Fady cannot get back in time. 2 0 for 5 1 7. Yeah, and again, there's just no one in the net. I think we saw that a few times in the series already. Fade it's just too late there a bit. Ashley is taking his second goal and also the second goal for 5 1 7 gaming in this game. They are 2 0 up now. After roughly one and a half minute played, very good start here of this game for 5 on 7 gaming, Nico. Yeah, very good start. Exactly what they want, but Caps cannot get this one to Fade it, but Fade it will get back this time to get the save. And Bertie trying to push this one middle, but Fade is right there, trying to pass that one to Caps, but just a bit too far up. And now Penny with the miss, and Bertie would double tap it off the backboard. Yeah, we saw just a miss there from the defender of Stabbing Momentum. That's not what you want, Payne. It's just a bit too much up, and Fader couldn't get back as third there. Oh, it's an own goal. Percy yeah. just hitting it off the post into Fader. That was unfortunate. Yeah, really unlucky there, Fader, then with the own goal. 
But yeah, it's a really good start from 5 on 7 gaming, stepping momentum. They really need to do something else here to get back into this series. They have zero shots against six shots of 5 on 7 gaming. So it's just 5 on 7's gaming uh, game at the moment. And, you know, I don't see it change until now. I mean, I can't really see stepping momentum in the offense. So they are in the offense right now, as you can see. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just not stepping momentum's game. And they really need to, do, to change something else in the second half of this game, Nico. Yeah, they really need to change something. Uh, let's see if Catch can do it here with a clear behind APS, but he will get a touch up. But it's straight to Caps again, trying to get this one to Payne, but realizes he's B, he turns back, it's letting Fady go for this one. It's a very <clears throat> risky touch above his own net. Uh, now, Bertie with 50 boost. Let's see what he can do here with the air dribble. Set. Across the net, but Fady almost own goals that again. APS with the open net miss there. Very unfortunate for him, and now Haney reverses the open it. Ash it does close him down though. Now Caps tries to get this one, but APS sh sh shuts him down. Now Haney to the side. Bertie is right there on top of it. Shut down by Faded. In the orange corner, Caps will bring it down. Beats one. Just rolling. And now clear by APS straight to Faded. Haney is off of that. Misses his touch though. And Percy gets a slow touch in the corner now. Haney is up for this, try to sneak it in, but he cannot do it. And he takes it away from Faded as well. Maybe it's trying to do a bit too much there. I mean, it doesn't seem like the communication is quite there for us, the back momentum at the moment. Yeah, it seems like just having momentum is really struggling in this game. Like, the communications are not there, and they have just one shot. It was just a shot by uh, Peña, I think, who just tries to sneak it in, but it's just not stopping Momentum's game. There's still one minute left, but they need three goals in this game to at least uh, win this game. They already have the game in hand, but yeah. if they want to uh, to get up uh, with two games, they really need to get three goals in this one minute, and I can't see it happening because it's just 5 on seven's game at the moment. Yeah, that's a miss off the backboard, but both Caps and Penny going for that. Like, the communication is just not there right now. And as you see, P uh, Fadia, excuse me, getting a boomer, but first she shuts it down. Astrid, straight to Penny, to fade it. That is a good shot, but he shut down. Brings out a little bit of a double commit, though. Now Caps is just putting it up above the goal, but not enough. And that almost goes in for APS by uh, Astrid, sorry, but it goes in for Bertie off the... I think it was a mistouch on the defense here. Yeah, it would have been a great goal from Astri if he would have put that in. It was just a banger and Bertie is just taking the rebound from the back wall there. No defender from Stabbing Momentum could clear that ball. Let's think that game. 4-0 now for 5-on-7 uh, gaming with only 30 seconds left. Uh, yeah, as I said, Stabbing Momentum is not having that game. I mean, it can happen, but it's just game two, but 5-on-7 gaming is really having a good chance of, you know, taking this series. They're, they, they're one all now in the series if they win this, which I, will probably happen, but it's just uh, stabbing momentum can't really get into Oh, that's a good as, shot by APS, though. We see as the fifth goal for 5-on-7 gaming, a great pass from APS, Bertie back, and then, well, it did, Bertie didn't even touch it. APS just followed it up by itself. And it's a great shot from APS. 5-0, 5 on 7 gaming. And you know, Stabbing Momentum is just getting rushed out in this game. 5 on 7 gaming, great performance here in game two. And I'm expecting a lot to see from them in the next game, Nico. Yeah, that was uh, the complete shutout. Unless Stabeke can do something here at zero seconds. But I think Astro would just leg drop. No, he would just flick it up to APS. Down to Bertie here for one more. No. 517 get the complete shutout in game two. Yeah, they definitely do. 517 gaming was having a really good uh, match. So many shots as well. 16 <laughs> shots against only three of stabbing momentum. And, uh, you know, 517 game was just getting offense of the offense against stabbing momentum. And stabbing momentum couldn't do anything against 517 gaming. They tried to keep up the pressure against them, but it just didn't work. And, um, you know, it's 1 0 in the series now. Stabbing momentum, they definitely have chance. Of winning this series still but they need to do something else in this uh, in the next game because you know they still have a few games left but they can't let anything like this game happen again 517 gaming is having a really good momentum going into this game three nico yeah they definitely have all the momentum going their way despite um Stebeck winning that game one i do
see them struggling a bit in the first half of this game, but maybe if they can uh, not allow 5-1-7 to get the early goals in this game and then maybe get a few shots and a few opportunities of their own, start to ramp up a little bit and maybe come back into this and get some momentum of their own. But they really need to break this momentum off 5-1-7 uh, right here if they want to have a chance in this game. Yeah, they definitely do. As we see, oh, a really no. cool again, 5 on 7 gaming is continuing where they ended last game. 5 on 7 gaming is getting a goal again after 8 seconds. Last game it was after 9 seconds, I believe. Just yeah. caps is too late there and fade, they couldn't do anything. He also stick to the ground. It's a 5 on 7 gaming with an early lead again in this game, 3 Nico. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. They could not allow that to happen now. They're going to be so, like, de like down like mentally and they got to pick themselves up they got to keep their heads higher or else they're going to get absolutely slapped out like they game did game two I see Bertie going for an air dribble here but get shot down by Caps and now Astro gets a little bit of a bump there so he couldn't follow his aerial and Caps is very awkward there in the corner but Haney comes out to help him but takes it slow in the corner can't get a really good touch there. Caps just sends it to the middle. Astro is there. Double tap off the ceiling. Faded does beat him though. And now Faded is just waiting for APS to do something. But APS absolutely outsmarts him with a great 50. Now Astro gets a bit of an awkward touch into his own corner. But it is fine for now for them. And now Faded that is high up above the goal. But APS has all the time in the world. And now Faded kind of awkward on his own post there. But he will. Clear it into the corner. Now Penny with a dribble out of his own half, but cannot get it past the last defender. And Caps also gets beat, which leaves Fede in a 3v1 right here. And that's a good pass from Astrid to APS. There. Yeah, that's a really well outplayed goal for 5 on 7 game. It is a 1v3 situation, but just end up textbook play for 5 on 7 game. Good pass and a really good shot. 120 kilo kilometers an hour. For APS there with a shot, 5 on 7 gaming is leading with two goals here against Tabbing Momentum in game three. And here, Bertie wins the 50 against Caps, but Payne does win the next challenge. Now faded onto the backboard. Bertie does clear it to APS now. Caps goes get a demo and a touch on that 50. Faded gets beat to it, but he get, gets around it to fit it to Caps, but he double taps it himself into Penny. Penny tries to read this one down but APS just gets in the way of that. Does not allow him to even get a chance on that now. Caps tries to backflip this into Penny but he cannot hit him quite well enough but now. See good shot from Astrid. Good save from Penny as well. And now Fader with a booming clear. Penny, uh, I mean APS to Astrid. Now APS again in the corner, but Payne beats him out. Now Bertie gets around Payne, Caps into the middle. Payne is there, but he cannot get it past the defender. Now Caps into Faded, good save from Bertie there. Shut down that pa uh, that shot before it even happened almost. And like, do you think Stebeck is doing better now? Like they're kind of ramping up a little bit. See? Yeah, I mean, they're doing better now, but it's still just a defense of 5 on 7 gaming holding strong in this game. They haven't conceded once in this game, and they're just doing really good on offense, as we see Stabbing Momentum again in the offense. But, it's, it's, you know, Stabbing Momentum, they have the chances now, but it's just 5 on 7 gaming really good in defense, standing solid in defense, and keeping the clean sheet on now. And this is a question, Nico, if Stabbing Momentum can get their goals, because they really need it. Otherwise, 5 on 7 gaming will be a match point in game 4. Yeah, that's a whiff on the corner, and Spurty will just convert a free net. Yeah, I don't know where the defense was again of uh, stabbing momentum. Just a, a, a bit uh, awkward there from Caps, just there in the goal. He was backflipping, and uh, in the end, it's the third goal, 5 7 7 gaming. They bounce back from the pressure of stabbing momentum. And it's just, the defense is not there for stabbing momentum, though the defense for 5 7 7 gaming is definitely there. That's the difference in this game and that's uh, what uh, Sabumanta really needs to work on. Yeah, I can I can agree with that. Uh, right now that's a double commit again in the corner for Stabic Momentum, but they get a 50 onto their own backboard now. Caps trying to force this one out, but he can't quite do it now. 
Vader on zero boost gets it off his own backboard now. Ashford into the middle, gets shot down by Caps off the blue backboard, but Haney will shut it down now. Faded tries to keep this one in the blue. Gets a 50 out into the middle. Haney off the backboard. He can hit this one again. No, he cannot. Now Caps off the backboard. APS does read it well though. And Caps is zero boost in the corner. Also, Payne is on zero boost here. Faded just cannot do much with that. Just lands into APS and almost a good shot from Bertie there. Just goes off with the crossbar. And now Faded off of Bertie gets a good clear. And Payne almost getting around that to get a shot, but it just seems like they're trying to do too much individually instead of trying to work as a team right now. It's the back momentum. Yeah, I see what you're going and. It's just that I don't see many pairs in yeah. place. As you see, 5 on 7 gaming with a fourth goal. They're wrapping, just stabbing momentum. Yeah, and, and as you see, they're like faded. He probably calls that he's awkward, but his team is just not there to help him. And it's just like, there's just not enough team teamwork going on. There's not enough communication. Yeah, definitely. I think just the communications need to be better from stepping momentum and just more passing plays because I've seen 5 on 7 gaming with the passing plays, just connections of the three players. Maybe it's just a new roster of stepping momentum, but I, you know, it's just a bit inconsistent. I mean, they are going 2 on down now in this series. I mean, they can still wrap it around and get the series to their hands and see one goal for Faded as stepping momentum, but it's too late. Two seconds left uh, as we go into game 4. 5 on 7 gaming leading with 2 1 in the series on match point and stabbing momentum need to win twice in a row to make this make the series them with yeah. theirs and it's just really hard for them to, uh, yeah. to get the series at their hands. But even though it's too late, they still get a goal. It's still a little bit of a momentum breaker now. They they got their goal, they know they can score now, so they say, okay, now we can score in this game. Let's just not allow them to score in the next game. And we just also score. Like we know we can score and we know we can save. So as long as we we do both, we can win. Like that's yeah. what they need to do. It it's, sounds simple, but like now that they have actually gone ahead and scored a goal, even though they were down, they're like, okay, like in the back of their mind they're like, okay, we can actually score. So yeah, I mean, they have had their chances, to be fair, in this game. They've had seven shots and only one goal. It's just yeah. a lack of, you know, accuracy. We saw game one where they had a really good accuracy, shot accuracy, but it's just one goal here from Faded in this game. And, um, you know, they got to improve that in the next game uh, to be able to not let 5 on 7 gaming get this series to their hands. And, you know, Stabbing Momentum, they already lost a series in week one. Uh, and 5 on 7 gaming, they've already won a series in big one so it's just having momentum really need a win right now um yeah it's just uh, really important that stepping momentum is just converting the shots they have into goals to uh, be able to get this game four to their hands let's see what's, go what's going to happen here in game four yep let's get right into it here astri versus peña on the kickoff and it goes into the corner of Stebeck Momentum. Caps gets a 50 on APS, but it goes straight into it. That's an open net if the Caps is racing for it. And that is an unfortunate bounce for him. Just goes straight up into the air. No way he can get that angle into the net. Now faded. With a bit of risky dribble in front of his own net there. APS will just snatch that one. Yeah, and again, the third game in a row, the 5 on 7 game is getting an early lead. Faded is just really... Uh, lucky there, just, you know, it, it was really risky to just take the ball across his own net. APS is really a good striker there, just taking the ball from Faded and it's just taking the ball, shooting the ball in, into the net. It's really did again for 5 on 7 gaming, Nico. Yeah, and I also saw on the replay, Faded missed the boost in the back corner. So perhaps he didn't mean to go like that, but he just had no boost, so he was forced to go stay close to the ball, but he didn't stay close enough and Ultimately, it led to a goal from 4 5 one, 7 now. Caps trying to lock this one down into the corner, but he does so well. And now Penny with the shot, but it's just wide, and APS would just easily follow it up. But Penny again with the challenge now. Faded. A bit of an awkward touch, though. Bertie will handle it, and APS also puts it back into the corner now. 
Just a lot across the goal from Fede. Not really amounting to anything, you know. Penny just keeping the pressure on Fede as well. Trying to get a pass, but just no one to pass it. But Penny gets around it well enough to get shot, but it's just blocked. And now, Penny racing back to get this one. He touches it into his own corner to Caps. And now Caps gets a flick pass one. He's got loads of time. Pushes it to Fede, but Fede misses his touch though. And Penny trying to get this one, but it's right on his own corner. Caps now with the loads of time. Got Fede in support as well. Fede going for the bump. Caps and Fede working together for this one. Fede actually gets credit for the goal. Beautiful play there by stabbing momentum. One is just going for the demo. That's what you gotta do in a 2v1 situation. It's just one goes for the demo and one is just taking the ball into the net. Great play by stabbing momentum. And maybe that gives them momentum in this game. <laughs> I see what you did there, Dennis. Uh, <laughs> and now Penny looking to take this one slow. Tries to fake out APS, but he just can't really do it. And now Fede <laughs> tries to sneak this one in, but Asher will be back in time. And Asher now, well, a lot of time actually. Gets it off the backboard, but good clear from Fede. Now APS into Birdsey. Penny will take this one into the corner to Fede. Uh, shut down by APS. Penny into the corner again. Astrid looking for the double tap. Caps misses his touch and he will find the double tap. Yeah, the miss from Caps just all lead to this goal. As you know, like in Champions Division, you should be able to read these bounces. And Astrid is just taking the benefit out of that. Astrid is getting the second goal for 517 Gaming and stepping momentum. is under pressure now. They can't lose this game. Otherwise, the series done. Yeah, and Astrid again off the kickoff, but Caps will shut it down. That might roll it. Yeah, the defense from 5 on 7 game, you know where to be seen after the kickoff. I kept it with a good challenge, but the third, APS, really needs to be there as a third as, as a third man. Just two mistakes just causes the both second goal of both teams. It's just, uh, you know, a bit of lack of, like, you know, in this goal, a bit, bit of lack of a rotation, I would say. Like, after the kickoff, you need to be able to just be back, no matter what happens. Because it was a good challenge by Caps, but still, you need to be back. Um, in case this happens. the backboard, and Ashley will score again off the backboard. Yeah, Birdsty is just getting the ball onto the backboard, and then Ashley very, very quickly up there as he gets the third goal for 5 on 7 gaming. Very good goal there, and uh, you know, really good play. And uh, 5 on 7 gaming, there are 3 2 up now, and stepping momentum is again under pressure as uh, they really need Was to be. miss. Ah. Uh, uh, that hurts to see. See, like Bertie hits this one close to the net. Penny thinks he might have to get the touch and he rushes to he uh, Just a little bit too off and just misses his touch there. Leaves a wide open net. Unlucky stuff for us to back here. They have two minutes left. They can still come back in this game. But it's looking very dark for them right now. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, I see already in the chat, like, uh, someone just saying, they're just smacking balls on the backboard. That is exactly what they're doing, but yeah. stay momentum. They just can't really read the bounces from the backboard, it seems like. Just a bit of a mechanical um, inconsistency. And 5 on 7 Gaming is taking the benefit out of that. And they really need to change that. Just the backboard from. Oh, good pass. Backboard. It's, it's, re it's really just 5 on 7 Gaming. Again, taking the leader. There are two goals up. And you see a double demo. Uh, stepping momentum. Oh, yeah, yes. Anything. And it's really awkward here again, but it's just 5 on 7 game again in this game, I would say, who's a better side, and stabbing Manta really needs oh, to be Oh, good pass! Else. As I have to say that, Payne is <laughs> getting the third goal for stabbing yeah. Manta, really good pass. From, I think it was, yeah. no, it was Caps, to Payne, and Payne is just converting it. APS was just waiting for the shot, but it was so powerful, 170 KP, KPH. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, stabbing Manta is back into this game again, Nico. Yeah, and they, they were like, Penny heard you like, nah, Dennis, shut up, man. <laughs> Look at this here. I can also do this. Now, fade it. Behind Birds, you kind of awkward for him, but APS will cut the rotation there and get the ball. And Caps, awkward there on the back where I thought Asher was going to get a touch, but he won't. And now that challenge goes right past Penny, not really expecting that. And Fade it also misses his touch off the backboard. 
Caps will help him out here and I'll fade it into the middle to Penny. Good challenge there. And now Bertie is up for this. Try to do an aerial play, but Fade it shuts him down. Astri just takes his time in the corner, but he is shut down by Caps there. And a miss off the crossbar! Ashley gets a good touch there into the corner to sail it away. And now Penny with some time here on the wall. Goes for a hit off the backboard. It's not quite enough yet. And now Caps has to keep this in the orange. Or in the blue, sorry. And Faded races this one down. Just awkwardly land on that fifth or on that to get the 50. And now Penny doesn't hit his touch. Now Caps. Has to do something with this ball. It's it not past Bertie now, and Ashley will probably hit this one into the goal. Yeah, it will, and it's series for <coughs> the big momentum versus one five seven. Yeah, it's series now. Five on seven gaming. Just. You know, get a serious second goal, and that's what Stabbing Momentum needed in this game in the last second. Because, you know, 5 on 7 game, I would say they deserve this series. And it's actually just a 3, uh, you know, a 3 1 result for 5 on 7. Actually, my prediction is right at a time. <laughs> First time I think my prediction is correct, but it's a 5 on 7 game deserved. Um, yeah, they deserved this win in the week two of ECC. Establishing momentum, they lost twice now in the, se in, in the in the in the season, and they really do not have a good season at all. Uh, they really need to do something else. A five on seven game, you have a dream season so far. So, um, Nika, what do you think? Establishing momentum need to do better in the next matches because you're you're their coach, right? What what do yeah. they need to do better like in the next matches because they can't keep on going like this. It, it comes down to the the last inch like it like they have all the right ideas of what they want to do and where they want needs to be it's just that last inch they need like as you see like they're almost getting those hits off the backboard they're almost finding those finishing touches to score and like they're almost doing all these things but they're not quite doing it so that like that's what they need they need that one last inch to just push the ball into the net or push the ball to the corner or just get that 50 exactly where they want to get that pass exactly where they want it. It's just like those small things that is what they need uh, or are lacking right now. But it's, it's it's hard because you can see when you're analyzing them that they have all the right ideas of where they need to be and what they need to do. But uh, like they just are not quite getting it. And it's unfortunate to see because they really kept up with uh, one uh, five one seven, except for that game too. That was a really good game by five one seven. But except for that, they kept up with them really well, and it did not feel like it was such a close sweep in my opinion, or not sweep, but like three games in a row where they lost. It did not feel like it was it was like the heart of a knockout. Yeah, you know, and I think the stable momentum the efforts uh, have a bit of time to rest because if I ever look. Um, at the schedule, Stabbing Momentum is having a rest week next week and then the week after they play Crimson Hawks. So they just need to play in week four. But, um, you know, they have a bit of time to practice um, and to, yeah, to develop themselves, to just win series here. Because, you know, I think what also lagged was just rotation because the backboard was really, uh, was a lot just not defended by them. And I think that's really what costed them this series because Team 5 on 7 just smacked all their balls on, on the backboard and tapping momentum couldn't do really much about that. So many goals just were from backboard reads. And um, really, in this Champions Division, uh, stabbing momentum need to defend the backboard better because, um, yeah, that, that's not how they're going to win games if they're just leaving the backboard just so open. And I think, you know, in, in next week's they definitely can make a shot back, but uh, they really need to practice a lot together to... Um, to in the end just get some good results because they lost twice in a row now and uh yeah that, that gets them somewhere like down below um in the table but it's uh it's a really good result for team five on seven who are just like on first place right now after sweeping uh, last week's crimson hawks and this week's tieback momentum really good results by them so um yeah nico do you have anything else to say i'm still the prediction king baby no one's no one prediction wrong yet this year this season i got like one or two wrong last season i'm not getting one wrong this season i'm getting every every single one right i'm just telling you 
Yeah, I mean, you know, you, if you go cost uh, so, sometimes more than, uh, you know, you predict and you already just predict the match um, in a good way. So, you know, very, uh, very, very good from you. I think uh, I predict this good as well. So, um, congrats <laughs> Team 5 on 7. Um, yeah. I want to thank everyone here for being here in the stream. Of course, we want to thank the sponsor, Godellians, for sponsoring this uh, Champions Division and Division 1. Um, Go so Godellians! Much thank you to Godellians. Um, much thank you to Empty as well in the background. And um, I think that was all done for today. We don't have any more matches on stream. So I want to see you in the next stream. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow maybe in two days. But um, yeah, that's that, that was me and Nico for this game. Um, if you just come in, came in, stepping up momentum, uh, got beat by Team 5 on 7 with 3-1. Good evening, everyone. Peace.